Introducing Wave Properties by kscience.com. So what I'm drawing now is a transverse wave. And the dotted line that you can see going through the wave is the undisturbed position. It's a transverse wave. This here is the wave's amplitude, the amplitude. So what I've drawn here is an arrow showing the maximum displacement from the undisturbed position, which is the dotted line, to the maximum displacement of the wave. This is the amplitude. So I've drawn the amplitude from the undisturbed position to the peak of the wave. And now I'm drawing the amplitude of the wave from the undisturbed position to the trough of the wave. So this here is the amplitude, amplitude, which is the maximum displacement of a point on a wave from its undisturbed position. And the unit of the amplitude of a wave is meters, meters. And I'm now labeling the undisturbed position. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. So what is a wavelength? I'm now going to describe what a wavelength of a wave is. So as you can see here, I've drawn a line going through the peak of the wave. And the next equivalent point on the wave is the next peak of the wave. So that is one wavelength. So the wavelength of a wave is the distance from a point on a wave to the equivalent point on the next wave. So that is one wavelength, one wavelength. So the wavelength of a wave is the distance from a point on a wave to the equivalent point on the next wave. So I've drawn the wavelength from one peak to the next peak of the wave. However, I can also do a wavelength from the trough of one point on the wave to the next trough of the wave. So that is one wavelength. From the trough of one point on the wave to the next trough of the wave. Wavelength, which is in meters. And wavelength is an upside down Y called lambda. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Visit kscience.com for more free videos, worksheets, and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.